Hi guys, what's up? It's Alex here, and we are back with more NASCAR 2011. This time, uh, I think it's Richmond International Raceway that we're racing at. And, um, yeah, should be fun. Um, I think this is part 9, and uh, this is going to have 11... This is going to be up to part 11 by the end of the month, so we're going to have quite a lot of episodes of this series, which I think is a good thing. Hopefully everybody enjoys it. But, um... In my sort of point is that um, I might be doing more race previews. Um, I've just got to really decide if there are any other sort of games I can buy and uh, any other sort of events I can events I can sort of cover. Uh, I was thinking about the World Endurance Championship, but MX Chris does a great job with those. So does Elusive Kev. So um, I normally just stick to the ones that I watch every weekend, or I try to watch every weekend, and I don't really watch the World Endurance Championship either, so that's a, sort of a big no-no for me to do it, because I have no idea. Um, but there have been a lot of motorsports that, sort of, doing previews has really sort of made me think about sort of watching again. Biggest one was NASCAR, but it's really sort of broadened horizon. I mean, IndyCar, I do try and watch that every weekend now it's on. I think last year they had the races on Sky, but I don't think they've got the rights to them this year, I don't really know. Uh, but hopefully they have the Indy 500 live somewhere, because I really want to watch that. Biggest motorsport event, really, in America, apart from the Daytona 500. That was a bit of a fail. Oh, that was a big crash. I don't know what Seven really thought he was doing moving up the track after that, but wow. <laughs> that was a bit of a, a big crash. Uh, this will be a 2% race. But look at this, I'm, I'm against the wall, then the 7 just comes up, and I poof. Like, why? Why would you do that? Anyway. Uh, so. Uh, restart. I'm going to get you, Josh Wise. That was a stupid manoeuvre there. Oh, we're all the way near the back again. This always happens to me. Smash into the back of George Wise. He deserved it. Come on, Alex, get off his bumper. I can't even get off his bumper now. Oops, sorry about that. Ooh, I think I was water it. Now we're just making. We're dive bombing it. We're just dive bombing it. I made a car really loose off that corner. But this was a short race, so we need to just push our way through the field. I think it's always entertaining watching me be a bit aggressive because I, ne I don't. I like to be aggressive in games like Formula One, but I never like to smash people off the road. But NASCAR, that's what half the sport's about: smashing into each other and obviously not taking each other out, but you know, giving a bit of bumper action, like there, moving them out of the groove. Now two laps to go. Kurt Busch got the fastest lap. But Jeff Burton is leading, so I'm going to look at the championship battle after this race because it's going to be quite close. Richmond, it's quite a nice track. It's not my favourite, but it's quite a nice little track. It's kind of hard to see because now I've got a lot of um, glare on my screen because it, you know it's, it's got the dark time. Oh yes, fast lap of the race. That's good. I should mean a couple of extra points. Diet and the Arizona Logano. Can we get top 15 here? I don't think so. That'd be about Mark Martin. Kane there. Kyle Busch. Is that Stuart? Is that Stuart? No, it's a Montoya. Oh, there's Stuart. No, don't make a Stuart move, Alex. 14th. Not too bad whatsoever. And uh, that might move us up a bit in the standings. I don't really know. But some good points on the board. And, um, yeah, let's look at the championship standings. I think Jimmy Johnson's got a lead at the moment. Finish 14th, we've got the fastest lap though. Yep, up a position. Newman's down two positions. Boyer's up two. Casey Kane's up there in 10th. Any big losers? Earnhardt Jr. I don't know. Did you all Jr. get into the chase? I don't know. It's quite far off it now. I'm about 10, 10 points off. Now, uh, what is this championship battle? Oh, Kurt Busch is closing in on the lead, but he's 45 behind, so it's going to be very unlucky if Jimmy Johnson doesn't win this championship at the moment. But Jeff Burton is looking fast, so is Kurt Busch. I think it's going to be a great sort of series in the end. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.